Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. In the last episode, we went through Sandopla Zone, and in today's episode, we're going to be tackling a uh, Lava Reef Zone. And one thing I want to make clear in the last episode, if you guys saw my live count down there, it is it was not at 16 when the episode ended. It was it was like at 14 or something like that. That's because well, I had to replay Sandopla Zone again because well, poor well. The, the save data kind of pooped out on me a little bit. I need to get over there. But in today's episode, like I said before, well, yeah, I'm sorry about the whole, like, mix-up if I have more lives than I should. That's because, like I said, that's because, well, recording issues, that's pretty much it. Not saving my data when I need to. But Lava Reef Zone is a pretty dangerous level. Not gonna lie, you guys saw how many times I've got hit, even when I'm afar from the enemy. Um, it's full of pits, it's full of danger, it's full of lava, and pretty much anything here can kill you if you're not careful. That's one thing I need to imp improvise an ancient phrase. Well, it's not ancient, but it's old enough. My mom says it all the time, but patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. You have to wait until everything else, like, stops attacking, then you can jump into it. Especially this one enemy that I don't like. It's those pole enemies with the with the smoke. These enemies right here. If you're not careful enough, they will envelop you in that smoke. And what the smoke does is it starts draining your in ring energy away. And if you have zero rings and you're still enveloped by the smoke, you will die. So I'm. I just do not like those enemies with a burning passion. Those enemies are like the worst enemies in the game, in my opinion. Because even with um the smoke when you're enveloped in the smoke but it uh it causes your jumping to be really really slow and you cannot jump worth crap i need to be careful here because well i don't have any rings okay let's go up here and bust through this there's a lot of rings here let's grab these i might need these i wish i'd get hyper nuts hyper nuts but anyways like i said before the enemies here are just rudely dangerous Especially those guys, those suicide enemies. Those, the flying caterpillars will come out of nowhere and attack you. These enemies can go oh, burn in the fires of hell because they are just annoying as crap. But lava reef is a good. If you want a good challenge, this level is a good challenge, especially with Knuckles. You guys probably saw that it didn't really have that much trouble with um, Sonic. But uh, Knuckles is, it's different. It's really hard, especially if those enemies with those smoke envelop you. Because even when you're invincible, it will drain your ring energy, and it will kill you. These guys can pretty much go through anything. Even your shield. That's, that's saying something. But oh well. Now we're going to fight the boss. These bosses, god dang it, I really missed them? Okay, well... Um, these bosses have three forms. Those two little snake things and this big hand here. You need to destroy all three of those. And the only way you can is whenever, um, you can only attack these guys when they, when they go up and down. When they go up and down on the screen. And you just avoid the projectile. The hand, however, you have to wait until it slams down on the ground and then jump on top of it. That's how you damage it. I think I can kill these guys. You, those guys' projectiles are pretty easy to dodge, so don't worry about that. It's really your main concern is the hand, because it's kind of like Robotnik. Um, God dang it, really lost all my rings there. But after after you kill those two snake things, you'd all you have left is the is the gigantic hand. You just jump on. Come on, I jumped on you. But yeah, you just jump on his hand. God dang it, seriously. Okay. A good tactic is just do that. When, whenever he stops moving, that's when you jump out of the way, and then you just jump on him. You know, you just stand right here, spin dash, get out of the way, and jump on him. And do the same here again. Okay. Pretty much, like I said, patience is a virtue, folks. That's pretty much this whole uh, level in a nutshell. You just have to be patient with your jumps. You have to pay, be patient with the enemies. You just have to be patient with everything. Da -da 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 we got through Act One. 
God, that was terrible. Anyways, we're starting Lava Reef Zone Act 2. I love this music, by the way. This is really good music. And watch out for the fires, because this the gimmick of this, even though like all the magma quote-unquote cool down, they have a lot of fire spewers. And watch out for the crushing, because crushing is an equivalent in all, this, all these levels. Do not, whatever you do, do not hit those roboticizer boxes. The Robotnik boxes, because those will take you will take damage from that. You don't want that. Do 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 bust through here. I want that fire shield. I want the fire shield right now. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, the fire shield is a must for this level because. What the fire shield does, it makes you immune to those uh, fire spewers. So, it's good to have a fire shield in this level. And pretty much... No, I don't want to go the bonus stage! Okay, well, I hope I don't lose my... <gasps> Wait a s- Oh, god damn it! I thought for a second there I got a jackpot. If I got a jackpot, I would have flipped. Okay, let's try this again. I want to get something. This is kind of reminding me of that Dorkly Bits video. I know I was talking about Dorkly Bits in the last episode. If I did, I can't remember. I got two rings. But there was a video that says Sonic's gambling problem, and that's pretty much what happened here. Yay, got 50 rings. Okay, I can get out here. I can get out here. I'll be happy. Do, 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 do. Okay, just let... Just hold on. Eh, come on, get out. There we go. Okie dokie. But now I have 50 rings. Do I, did I get rid of my fire shield? No, I didn't. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that fire shield, because... You know. Oh, that works too! I always thought... Okay, um... Well, I learned something new, folks. Hyper Knuckles can go hyper even if he's in a shield. Okay, well, that, well, that makes things ten times easier. Now I can just go blaze through this level real quick. What? Hit detection. What is hit detection? Uh. What the? Okay. Okay, well, hit detection, like I said, I got crushed when it was going down. And I just died with the fire crap. You see why why being patient is good, folks? Because it'll just make you go and run into stuff. If you're too if you're too impatient for this level, you will get hurt and die like that. God dang, seriously. Okay, um, I'll try this again. No. No. Get over here. I need to... See, look. He was draining my my ring energy. I don't like that. At all. I don't like that at all. Let's push through here. Get this. Okay. Wait for the fire. Ow. Okay. Mm. Climb up here. Come on. Okay, God, God, that was close. And I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? Nope. Good. Good, I didn't get hit. I did not get hit. Now, let's just be patient. Be patient. Climb up the wall now. There's a checkpoint. Okay, good. Grab this fire shield over here. Come over here and touch this thing over here. Climb back up the wall. Like I said, patience, folks. Of course I say that, and then I run into the same thing that I that got me every single time. It seemed like that caterpillar always gets me, and I lose my fire shield. And I don't, I don't want that fire shield, especially for this part here. God, see, there's so many freaking things that can hurt you in lava reef zone if you're not careful. Oh well, we'll just go. There's gonna be rings. <laughs> of course, I was spacing on luck because I didn't know for sure if there was gonna be rings there. Okay. Here. Be patient. 
Wait for the fire. Launch yourself there. Be patient. Wait for the fire. Jump. And come over here. I always think that little um, spike ball is going to come and get, get me from the down below, but no, it's not that far up. What, what have you. Join. This way. Be patient. Wait for the fire. Jump. Be patient. Wait for the fire. Jump. And I was taking my sweet ass time there. <laughs> okay. Wait for the fire. Go down. And jump. That's why being patient is very good, folks. Do, do, do. Okay, this part's really tricky. Knuckle, like I said, Knuckles' difficulty is really t tough because he has a harder time. He's a different playing style and he's just really tough to play with. But honestly, for me, wait for that spike ball to do its little thing and then just jump over it whenever it's done. Better to be safe than sorry, folks, as I always say, and I run into the spikes. Okay, now let's gonna switch here. Wait for the fire. Jump. Now we're in the big area, and I did not mean to do that. Let's climb up this way. If you remember, Sonic uh, got knocked with the boulder due to Knuckles <laughs> back there, back in this playthrough of Sonic. Wait for the fire. Done, and then jump down here. And bust through here. I don't think there is a boss for... No, nope, there isn't. Well, I, th I didn't think so. <laughs> Anyways, in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, we are going to go into, well, as you can see on the screen, the Hidden Palette Zone. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. See you guys later.